Hello everyone, and welcome back to the speedrun portion of the Super Mario 64 Let's Play on my channel. This episode we're going to Cool Cool Mountain, and it will most likely go not so smooth compared to Lost Forgers, which I think went alright. The reason for that is I, in all the runs that I do, the Red Coin Star isn't a story I do very often, so uh, before we get into the stage yard here, I'm going to show off each of the runs at least, each of the stars at least once. Uh, I'll show, I'll do red coins last, so you can see me mess all that up after I do good. Um, so first up is the penguin, pretty easy. Not a whole lot to do that one. One of the first stars I learned, super easy to do, easy to mess up, but. Uh, if you're careful, it shouldn't be too big of a video. I just noticed I... There we go. I had a blue-black background and I don't like it, and... That is, uh... Going to bug me, to say the very least. There we go. Let's go! Alright, next up we're gonna do the slide star. And this is a... The slide gives, gives some people troubles uh, on the turns, you fall off a lot. But actually, if you just go straight off the right, and you do the right angle, and you die right before the end, you skip right to the end of the slide, and... Well, bam, you're already done. And then you do a cool, like, moonwalk into the door, if you know what you're doing. Uh, I don't do... I just recently started doing that in runs, so I don't got it nailed down, but... Uh, yeah. That long jump after when you're going to get the star, you can, you, if you miss the star, there's a good chance you're just going to go off the edge. So uh, I recommend like doing a kick beforehand. Uh, next, you do wall kicks will work, and then everything after this, I'm uh, not super confident on because those are 70 star and 120 star. Stars, and these are all 16 or 31 star, which are the two categories I've done the most. So this is where you will see me mess up a lot. Well, probably just on red coins. On your coins, I might die or miss one too many coins, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal. So first, we're gonna get the hundred coins because I believe you had to get the snowman's head star last or one of the last stars. And for a hundred coin, I'm gonna follow. Standard route most people do, except I'll probably grab an extra red coin at first, and then depending on how I do on the slide, I, I might opt in to not grabbing it. But it doesn't waste too much time. Ideally, you want to dive off the edge, roll, do a roll up before you fall off, so then you don't fall into the snow like I did. This is actually a star I haven't like optimized too much, so be a lot of mistake. Oh, um, a lot of un unoptimized movement. So right here, I'm expecting me to mess up coins a lot because I haven't done this a lot. I can miss three coins total, and I've already missed two. Uh, the main reason why I grab extra, oh, okay, and then that happens. You don't want to do that because then the penguin will say cheap, plus you can grab nearly enough coins. So, yeah. The main reason why I grab extra coins is because missing one, uh, I would like for that one to be on that uh, trail coins leading into the secret passage. But uh, there's a good chance I'll miss at least one other coin somewhere, so that's why I like to grab the second red coin. Third red coin, maybe. I'm do this again, and then the coins aren't going to be there, of course, but uh, just so I can get the stars. And the good thing about CCM over all the other stars is that it really doesn't matter which star you select, as long as you select don't select the first star uh, when you want to do the 100 points, or you won't have the penguin, and that is slower in general. That's just slower. Well, it wastes time, obviously. 
And ideally you want to have 85 coins for at the end, because if you can grab that 100th coin at the end of this line of 15, it makes it way easier to grab the star, compared to if you grab it uh, on like the 13th or 14th coin. Grabbing it on the 14th coin doesn't do bad, but 13 can prove to be fairly difficult. Which is why most people will not grab an extra coin and it's, uh, if they can help it. Because then it makes, makes it so you're pretty much guaranteed to grab the final coin here. What I should have done is notice that I had too many coins right before the slide and skip a coin or two. That would have made this part here a lot easier. That was neat you can do. Which I don't recommend doing in like a run, but just jump kick back into it. I'm just gonna do that for now just so I can get the star and move on. But then in a run if I mess up that badly and I can't just long jump to it to it, then that's gotta be too slow anyway, and it's not gonna be good enough for me to accept as my RTA run for the series. Uh, I don't have a specific time in mind, I just want a, a good, clear, clean run all the way through the stage. Okay, so now we're going to do the Red Coin Star. Uh, this is a star up until very, like, 20 minutes ago I never did a uh, good route. But I did watch a video of it, and thought about it, and practiced it a little bit, so I have a decent idea. Uh, ideally, when you do that rollout off the top, you go straight to the bottom layer, not the, not the bottom. And ideally, you don't grab any trees or anything. Uh, the main part of messing up is right here. Ideally, that doesn't happen. That's not even how I messed up before. I just would end up just walking off the edge and not sliding down. So I will, I'm definitely going to die there a ton. Ideally, you don't grab the tree there either, you can hopefully kick off the tree, and I don't grab that tree either. I didn't really look into like what's the best movement in terms of like dives and long jumps, but I'll probably get something good going. Now, yeah, that works. There's a much better, faster way you can do that, but uh, if we're not doing it, I'll take whatever I can get. The other part that I have not been doing too optimally is right here, but like right there, that's fine. First time I did that correctly. I just gotta remember to do it, not just jump down. And then I gotta remember to long jump before grabbing the red coin. So not too bad, but I'm gonna wanna be able to string everything together smoothly, so this is uh this and hundred coins are the two stars that will probably hold me back the longest, if at all. And that's why I have red coins first. So then I can you know, get a lot of practice in. And now we're going to Snowman's Head. This is a, another star I don't do in speedruns, but pretty easy. Ideally, that doesn't happen. I don't know the best movement for this beginning part, because after this, you just got to slide down. So, yeah, maybe not a dive there. That's something that I'll just, I'll have to work on right now. And then you just slide down this part, it's pretty, pretty simple. So since the only part I really have to make sure I do good is the very beginning, that this start shouldn't be too big of a video. And I do know you can time this backflip well, I make the star. Oh, um, so you talk to some man 
as soon as possible. And that's the stage. Alright, so now we're gonna jump into stage RTAs. Same timing rules last time, just hit start right when I hit the select star and then go from there. Uh, let's see how this goes. Oh, not good. But for first attempt, not too. Not expecting a whole lot. Yeah, that's what kept happening to me when I was practicing it. So I probably should look into more like what kind of angle I should go for, but not then. Then hit start. Probably gotta keep forgetting to split on individual stars as well, because you know you don't typically do that unless you're doing like a 16 star and you want really good a really good sum of best. I think what I want to be doing there is running more directly off and not at a not at an angle. Manage to take fall damage. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's not what you do. Okay. Alright, I just reviewed the video I watched to see how to do the 100 coin route, and I forgot to hit start again. And it looks like you want to run more into the corner. You'll see what I mean when I get there. So I just did it the complete opposite way in terms of adjusting where I should have went. I also saw that you can just slide there. He's a little faster, so they want to run more towards that corner. Yeah, I like that. That's way faster than what I would do. Oh, oh. Okay, that's... That'll be fun to look at whatever I get as a, a, good, a good segment for that compared to what I'm doing now. Hopefully a lot smoother. Alright, something I would like to do, pro hope, probably in the next video, um, is have a second timer set up, so you can see, like, when I do cut, you can see how long it's been since the previous cut. Right now, you can just look at the attempt uh, number at the top right corner of the splits to see, like, if it's been a couple attempts since I last cut. Hopefully, the video... It doesn't take so long that I need to cut a ton. But, like, I am gonna probably cut out this beginning part a number of times. Uh, yeah, a number of times, I guess that's right. Uh, so then it's not just me doing this over and over again. Okay, right there. What you wanna do is get that. Time your jump, so then you jump right into the tree. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So, you know, want to land on the other side of this ice? You got the coin.
and then ideally land on that bridge right there, I guess for the red coin. That's not something I'm going to be too hard on myself about, but uh, that can be very hard to get, and I did not long jump. So. Next are super easy, should not mess this one up pretty much at all. All the things I could see me needing to prove on in Twin Times is this moonwalk thing right there, but I should be fine on that too for the most part. And maybe long jump in into the start, but I could say a few frames depending on the angle of the jump. Okay, now this star I most likely, most likely gotta mess up a ton on the slight portion. Would be way better to like fix my camera before I do that because that could have been a very bad jump. Nope, yep, don't want to miss that. Oh, see, that's the thing that the one thing I was gonna have a problem with was not selecting star two. Of course, you know, I have a good hundred coin run, but you know, don't have the pink one. Oh, okay, here we go, we died. Okay, I gotta make a note of that to... Yeah, I really love trees. And I do the long jump again. I get a, yeah, I guess it's better for me to pull back rather than just run off. Okay, so that right there was solid. Can be better. Can definitely get under a minute, but not too bad. Much better already. That was slightly better. Yeah, that's about as good as that's going to get. Okay, so select star two. Don't forget. Yeah, don't just, yeah, don't, I'm sure a lot of people have this issue, especially so right now when you just try to make up movement or camera angles on the fly. No, you don't do that, just do what you know works.
I do know that there's a slightly faster 100 coin route you can do that involves you taking a really sharp right right here and you hit the other part of the slide and you, you skip just the right amount so the penguin doesn't think you cheated. I think I missed too many points. Yep. And if that happens, there's nothing you can do. Other than restart or race the penguin again, so we're going to do that. And just so I can have some splits, for, like some splits that compare to, I'm just going to go again. Oh, you know what, just die. Okay, whatever. I'm going to reset on that because we got a game over. Ooh, that's it. Okay, not into the tank, but that's, that's how it's done. There you go. Now, if that lands, and that's how that, that that's good. Okay. Much better again. Still be a lot better. If you, yeah, like I said, under a minute for sure. But that was a lot better in terms of just what I'm going for. Yeah, at least in the aspects of where I was messing up. Select R2, don't mess it up this time. You gotta get just get one full run through. Yeah, I love that small details that if you dive in front of the baby penguin, he'll dive too. I didn't select R2. If I do that again, then I'm just selecting other file. No, don't do that. I just gotta reset on that one. Honestly, I don't know how I even did that. That was just like, whoosh. That works too. I hit space bar, but I guess I didn't press it down all the way. I just like a small little tap. Although it doesn't look slower, that is actually slower because I can't do the slide into the door. But overall, it's not a big deal. Okay, star 2, don't forget it. Because last time I literally said select star 2, and then 2 seconds later when I selected star, I didn't do it. There we go. Yeah. 
Okay. I don't want to say anything before I get out of those coins, because there's been times where I've missed that first coin in the line. But one time was when I had an extra coin, so it worked out perfectly, but... Finally. It only took 35 minutes, almost, to get past that. Just get, just get half, not even, just get, yeah, I can't talk. Halfway through his lips, that's what I was trying to say, and that was correct, okay. Okay, next two stars should go by pretty smoothly. I am now realizing earlier in the video I did not show wall kicks will work. Or maybe I did and I forgot. But... but you'll see it here anyway. Easy enough. I'm gonna just remember just like star five on the next one, and it'll be good to go. Okay, this one I could mess up a decent amount because this, doing this ball kick can be pretty challenging or tricky to time correctly. But just like that, there's a better way to do this part at the end by not just long jumping underneath the star. But what I do, I make it work. I'm sticking to. Okay, select star five, then everything will be good. I should probably have been good at the land of that triple jump. Uh, no, don't backflip. It's not under six minutes. I knew that was possible. You can do way faster. Uh, I'm pretty sure under five minutes won't happen. Under 540 is definitely possible. As you can see about it from the best. Uh, we're gonna say. Let's see. Look at these splits. Which won't really tell me anything. Um, there, I know the red coins could have been at least 10 seconds faster. Uh, slide star is fine. 100 coins was okay. Everything was fine. Just red coins could be better. And small, some small things that could save a second here and there. So we'll say under 540, and then I'll take it. Maybe. Depending on like. If I have like a slightly messy red coin but everything else is like really good, then I'll take that too, but ideally I want to get under 540. Oh, try that again. Hopefully it won't take me another 30 minutes to get through the full stage. Oh, just so we can have some splits for everything, we'll have that. And grab the tree. Hmm. Now we're just going to reset that one. I, I, I know everything after red coins I can do pretty smoothly. So as long as I just gotta work and get in the good red coin to not mess up 100 coins, then, there, then we should be good.
Well, the good thing is that was only two seconds lower than my gold, and that felt like I played awful, so that means I'm getting to the point where we should start seeing closer to sub one than that first start. Star two. Star two. There we go. Okay, so up here, this is where you want to miss your coins if you need to. Just like that. So then you have exactly 85. You don't want to try to miss coins earlier on, because if you do happen to miss those end ones, then that really is gonna be unfortunate. So we're looking at a decent size gold here. Maybe not after that. I forgot to set up the thing that says how much I pulled it by, but it was by probably about four seconds if I had to guess. I forgot to jump kick on my first jump, so that's wasting a little bit of time. Oh, I'm gonna waste time too. Next down, well, I thought I was gonna land in the snow if I didn't jump, so that might have been the better call, unintentionally. So the fastest way you can really do that is when you land, you do your rollout, you land onto the bridge, forgot to split, and then from there you long jump straight into the star. Okay, so not bad. Still be faster. Definitely thinking under 540 is what we're gonna go with. Oh, that went really good. Probably the best team so far if I landed that. Well, that's unfortunate. Not a big deal, but definitely unfortunate.
Okay, it's good that I'm remembering to do that long jump ahead of time. Alright, not quite a sub one, but not, not too bad. It's one away. Really good. That I will take. I, I will probably try again and try to get it under one time for the points, but if the rest of this goes really well, we'll probably take that because that's not bad. Barely missed a goal, but not expecting gold to add, and if I do, not by very much. Okay, star two, don't forget. No, oh, that's why you gotta read. That's why you gotta Mario cam on the way down, so then that so you have a better angle. Like you've just winging it, and then you might get it, but you're gonna mess up one of those times. And it would have been way easier for you if you just reset your camera. Okay, just barely missing sub one again. But not bad. Last slide, we're missing one plane. On slide, past couple attempts, so. Goes well, it might be slightly better. Okay, so I missed a coin, I had to. Got the entire line, which can be very tricky and very easy to mess up, but you got it. 78 to perfect amount for this point. And there we go. So everything worked out. And that's where you want to long jump. So when the penguin's still coming down, and to say it saves you a little bit of time. So then. If you can get over to Peng before he or she stops walking, uh, that means you did it optimally. So, I could have been faster still if I just didn't mess up that red coin part. Right there, if you had uh, a bad slide down, it'll not slide into the penguin. And then, you know, you just gotta work out, maybe jump. Definitely don't just walk there. And there you go, that's about as smooth as getting without doing the roll out onto the bridge. And unless I really mess this up, we are looking good. I didn't select star 5. That's how you really mess it up. Alright, well that was, like I said, really good. Up until that point. That really could have gotten under a 530. Ah, uh, that sucks.
There we go, sub one. Ooh, sub 59 too. Die. Well, up until that, that was actually really good. And it was, yeah, another gold. Even more. 56. Not bad. I could get to... I can see that going down to like a 52 reasonably. I just don't bonk on anything, any small mistakes that it can be avoided. Definitely under 50, but probably not me. One on the top, not bad. Keeping very close to those golds for that star, which is good. Because I don't think I'm gonna beat it, and if I do, it's only gonna be by a few frames. But if you get, if, since I'm getting really close, that's good. So now I grab every coin. Yeah, that's that's nice. Okay, so now I have to miss three coins up here. That works. If the game start won't be too hard. Oh, okay, well that sucks. Pretty much have to grab it first try. Or if this is in general, it's gonna be too slow. Yeah, I know I said my goal is a 540, but now after looking at how much better to sum up best, we're gonna get a 535. And that one trick. That one mistake alone, like, messed up this whole thing. In terms of a good time. Good time. Sucks too. 
pretty much showing every possible mistake. Every possible way, not every possible, but a mistake you can make on every star here. Oh, I didn't select right, sorry. That sucks. really don't want that to be there, but, you know, work out. Okay, so, worked out, but, you know, don't want to miss three coins in that one part. Okay, I thought I was gonna die. But other than that one small mishap, when I was trying to enter the chimney, that wasn't too bad. No. I'm kind of very close to a 535. And then very, very close to a 535. Oh, well, yeah, if I do that, then yeah, okay. That's a goal. That beginning was really bad too, so. But everything past it was like really smooth. Really happy with that. An extra coin. Missed one coin. That sucks. Only thing you can do in this. Uh, yeah. In this place, so much time. Other than that, that went well. And that was pretty much the worst possible way that I can go without dying. Alright, you can see if we can still beat this time. And then I'll call it a night and try again tomorrow, but... Wasn't for that missing two coins at the end there. But yeah, really. Here we go. Well, it's possible. I know it's not. What am I talking about? Oh, 
Yeah, no, wait. I'm sure just ground pound. I ground pound that only waste like half a second, so not a big deal. Yeah, I don't waste even more time. Yeah. So, if it wasn't for the freaking 100 coin star, missing, wasting at least 10 seconds, I would have been. A f Easily a 528. Which should have been super good. So, we beat the initial goal, but we can definitely beat that. So, uh, I'll try like one more past red coins. That's it. It's unfortunate. That would have been not too bad if I just hit the start. But no.
Okay, very possible. Just can't mess up. Like, very, very possible. Have a hippie to it. And also play a shell and I got to start too late. And just like that uh, messed up. There's really only two tiny little mistakes in it. Three because of that most recent set. Okay, so this is looking like a very high 36th. If I tie my gold, and if I beat my gold, then slightly better. Like a low 36. Maybe a high 35 if I am lucky. Alright, we got it. I'll take that. I, I could probably very reasonably shave off another 5 for 6 seconds, but I'll take it. Throughout all this, I have shown that I improved a lot since the beginning. Enough to the point where I lowered the goal time by 5 seconds, which caused me to have to play another hour. Uh, and I, again, could very reasonably beat this by a good margin. I could easily see me getting like a 526, 527. Uh, just based off that I know I can see, save at least 5 seconds on the 100 coin star just by not missing the long jump. And then the wall kick star another 2 seconds. Right there that's 7 seconds it moves it down to a 528. And then of course more time on the red coins one but that's hit or miss because I literally just learned how to do that a few hours ago. Um, but yeah. You can see some of this is uh, 520, which shows that I did decent. So thank you so much for watching this, me, of, of me struggling for nearly two hours. Um, if you enjoyed it, like it, comment down if you got any feedback for how I could present this. And I that goes for anything like layout. Uh, what I'm cutting, what I could talk about, if I should talk more, more or I should talk less during my attempts. Because I don't talk a lot because I want to focus, but I can definitely talk a bit more during the easier parts where I don't have to like time A presses or anything. And yeah, I will say uh, you can't expect some delays for this recording portion because. Cool, cool mountains, pretty simple of a stage, not too hard. Like red coins can be a little tricky, but it's not that hard. After about 20 minutes, I got that star down pretty, got it pretty, got it consistently good for the most part. But pretty much every stage after this is gonna take me a lot longer to learn. Like Jolly Roger Bay won't be too bad. These lava land will probably probably be faster than this one in all honesty uh but every other story like rainbow ride shift and sand lands hazy maze, hazy maze cave all of those are a lot harder to learn for at least two or three stars so those ones will take me a lot longer to record um but uh shouldn't be too bad They'll be out when they're out, but the casual series will be updated at least once a week because those won't take me too long to record and they're very easy to edit. And then also music stuff. This recently released a bomb on Battlefield arrangement and then I will have at least one or two more 
Mario 64 songs coming out in, um, between now and then in the series. Uh, if you got any requests for those, or if you want me to do more than just two or three more songs, then let me know. And I'll make more. Uh, and there's, and yeah, that's that. So, uh, thank you for watching. See you guys next time.